Okay, folks, there's a lot of people who have a lot of equity in their homes and frankly, their rental properties. There's also a lot of you that have lifetime low interest rates. And there's probably a lot of you who have high rate consumer debt. So there are my words, not Matt's. These are my words. Unscrupulous companies out there that will try to get a hold of you and tell you to do a cash out refi. If you get rid of a 2.5% mortgage rate and add your 30K of debt from your credit cards onto your first, and now your first is at seven and a half or eight, you are making a bad financial decision. There are other options. Don't cash out refi. Don't cash out refi. Matt, that's my thoughts. What are you thinking? Yeah, I'll start. And I'm not afraid to call out unscrupulous company because it it really grinds my gears. As somebody who like advocates, you know, for the consumer and and you know, 10 years of education trying to help people out, I'll tell I'll tell everybody a story so you know what a bad culture, Quicken Loans, Rocket, whatever their name is, uh out there in uh in Michigan, how they do business. Had somebody in my office come to me who was was talking to a, a consumer that said, I need some money. I've got to pay off some high interest debt. I talked to the people at Quicken and, you know, they were talking about a cash out refinance. I was wondering if there's any way I could leave that first alone and do some sort of equity line. And again, the consumers don't know. Quicken told them you can't do that. You can't do a home equity line. You've got to do a cash out refinance if you want to pay off this debt. Now, let's be clear. Somebody at Quicken, so one individual said, I can't imagine that's on Quicken's website. You can't do it. This is so. Oh, no, it wouldn't be on their website. But here's the thing, Mike. Like, I know I had a, a bunch of mortgage brokers I knew from Michigan. It's funny because a lot of them at one time or another in their mortgage career, because Quicken's such a monster, have worked inside the belly of the beast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They had scripts, Mike. They had wow. scripts that were talking people through, like, I would get you on the phone. I would find out what your credit card balances were. I'd find out what your car payment. And the script was something, well, your blended rate is this. Right. Getting you to believe that all your debt collectively is 11%. So even though I'm doing a cash out refinance to seven and a half from a three, don't worry, Mike, your blended rate is lower. So I'm here to help, right? That stuff drives me absolutely crazy. So here's what people need to hear. Okay. If you've got a very low interest rate on a sizable first mortgage, and for, for example purposes, your house is worth 600, you owe 300, and that 300 is borrowed at 3%. Okay. If you're trying to pay off $50,000 in credit card debt, that, that's a big mountain. That's heavy on your back, and I get it. 100%, if you would qualify for a cash out refinance, you would also qualify for a $50,000 home equity line of credit. I agree. Same equity in your home. And here's the thing. If if you call me in my office and I tell you, don't cash out refinance, do a $50,000 home equity line of credit. Know that I get paid a 10th on that home equity line that I would get paid on the cash out refinance. This, this is, is a, I, want, I want to hit, I want to hit this again because you're telling the truth. You're making less money. And in the, uh, on the other side of that equation is, they are commission based people, not out for consumer good. They're out to get paid. That's what 100%. You're telling you. They've got quotas. They've got a culture still to this day. And I ask people, right? Because I literally talked to somebody who was there a month ago. Still to this day, the boiler room culture, trying to put numbers on the board, trying to make sales. That has nothing to do with advising, that has nothing to do with the you know, financial future of individuals. I look at each individual consumer of mine, like it's a family member, like it's my personal finances, right? I sleep so good at night, Mike. I might not close every deal. I might not put a tick on the board for a cash right. out refinance. I sleep really, really well. And then, oh, by the way, you happen to get more referral business and your business grows by doing people right than the other way. Those people just aren't like long-term yeah. focused and, and don't understand the game. So home equity lines of credit, are super popular. They'll continue to be popular because they make the most sense. Yeah. 
Yeah. And so, so anybody again, who let, tells you, go ahead. Let, let's put some numbers on this. So a cash out refi, they're going to sing this story, blended rate. They're going to go, hey, pay off your 25% credit card debt, pay off your 12% car loan, get a seven or get an 8% mortgage rate. That is not, not a great idea for most people. And especially if you have a 3% mortgage rate, that is going to be, a, that's going to, people need to treat 3% mortgage rates like it's the best asset they own. Seriously. It is the, you have a fixed housing cost that almost everybody would love to have. That fixed housing cost for most people, other than taxes, it's your biggest expense. Yeah. Don't give that up. There are options. You could do a home equity line. You could probably do a second. There are other ways to do this. And to know that there are firms out there with scripts and boiler room mentalities, it is what it is, but don't get got. Talk to a professional, somebody who's willing to take one-tenth of the outcome because it's right for you. Um, any closing thoughts and where can people find you? No, if you go to greatmortgagebroker.com, we're licensed in 48 states. You mentioned investment properties. Um, you know, it's limited by, by loan to value. And the rates are obviously going to be higher on investment properties, but you know some of the places we broker to offer those home equity lines of credit there as well. But what you want to do, greatmortgagebroker.com, connect me and my team. Or if you know somebody that you like and trust, do an exercise where you say, what's it going to look like to do 50000 on a home equity line of credit? What's it going to look like? And I think even taking it a step further is what's the game plan to pay off the home equity line of credit? Because yes. while... 29% credit card debt sucks. And I know people that will just continue like for decades, right? And 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 tread water and they're just paying interest. That's why credit card companies can offer you free bonus miles, cash back, all the things, right? Because they're making a lot of money. Well, while the home equity line of credit at 11 or 12% is better than that, you also don't want to hold on to that debt for decades. And so have a plan where... I went from 1400 spread across four credit cards a month to my new home equity line of credit payment that's only 500 continue to pay 14 pay 14 and pay that thing off right because that's the goal of all the financial tools you talk to somebody you like and trust greatmortgagebroker.com you put together a plan and of course 30% versus 11% you're going to save money but you want to get out you want to be free you want to get that thing off of the books and so um, I, that's, that's my call to action for people. And I know that in an environment where there's $1 trillion with a T of consumer debt, there's need for this. Cause there's also, you know, trillions in home equity, you know, the home equity numbers are, are through the roof as well. So this is a way to access that equity, put yourself in a better financial position without the torpedo that's 3% to seven and a half percent. $1,200 increased payment per month. Like I know for certain, and I don't even want to look, some of these yeah. loans being written are just ruining people's financial future. Yeah. They're just, they're, they're, they're hand, they're just injuring them. It's just, it's not okay. Folks, home equity line, not cash out refi. Home equity line, not cash out refi. The, Matt, the cash out so refi is going to, is going to make, is going to make sense for a select few. The cash out refinances I've done, Property's fully paid off. All right, we're drawing 150 for, for business, for investment, for whatever it is. That makes sense. There's some, oh, I only owe 74,000 left. I'm gonna take out 150, 175, and your new debt far outweighs the current stuff. You also, it's like, all right, I'm throwing out the 74 grand, 3% loan. I'm doing it all at seven and a half versus you know a $250,000 HELOC to go build an ADU. Um, so, you just talk it through with somebody who has your yeah. best interest in mind and can show you. Um, greatmortgagebroker.com. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Thanks, Mike.